there's a big difference now with the current lockdowns, which is that all of our trades are working, um, including the home improvement trades of Checker Trade, Habitismo and eLocal. So um, there's a pent up demand for home improvement work. And we were cautious during the first lockdown around um, whether our marketing would still be working. Um, but in our home assistance membership businesses, the good news is the membership is working really well. Our retention rates are holding up uh, extremely well, which shows the value of our cover. So, in fact, we're, uh, we're marketing at um, uh, full volumes and uh, that's all going really well. Richard. Um, the key bit is um, people have all of these jobs in the homes that they, uh, they want doing, which is, uh, which is good news for our second half. Richard, I take your point. Uh, we're all using plenty of devices at home, and sometimes we're using them uh, at double the pace we would have used them normally. I think our dishwasher's on a, a, a two-day cycle that happens twice a day now. But I would say, when problems do occur, we've got plenty of time to try and attempt to fix them ourselves now. Is that a theme that's, that's running through the industry? You are seeing people not necessarily call a handyman, that they're trying to solve it themselves. Actually, quite the reverse. There are only 20% of households that are um, DIYers. People would much rather um, get a trade out. If you look at the numbers for Checker Trade, and we're the, uh, the market leading online marketplace for finding trades in the UK, our searches were up 38% compared to um, October in the previous year. And I think that's a combination of do it for me combined with people wanting to improve the homes. Uh, they're in them more. And um, it's not just groceries that the people are buying online. Word of mouth is now less important for trades. And uh, coming to a marketplace like Checker Trade is uh, the way to find a really good trade. Um, very good to see you today. So you're up in Warsaw as well. Um, how would you say the government is doing at the moment as well? What are they getting right? What are they getting wrong? I think the key thing is it's, um, it's pretty difficult out there. And um, I think the message for business is that we need to um, focus on recovering and growing. Uh, we're actually recruiting 100 new people into our Walsall and Preston operations to cope with the increased level of calls coming in for, um, for home repairs. And then the message is um, push on. Uh, we've had uh, very strong growth in our American home assistance business. Uh, we just signed our thousandth utility and the pandemic has not slowed us down in signing up new utility partnerships. Uh, I think Britain is a great country to run businesses from. Uh, the reason why uh, we've just signed a deal with Eneco in uh, Belgium, uh, that opens up a new country, being 650,000 new households to market to. Uh, we just acquired a business in Portugal called M Misos, and that will enable us to open our, uh, our membership business there as well. So my message is, whatever the difficult conditions out there, it's a responsibility of business to recover and grow.